convert this, or how I converted this BB pistol into a 22 pistol. Uh, it is a Crossman uh, Marksman Repeater, a regular uh, 1.77 caliber BB gun. The way you would load it before is you would pop the barrel up like this, and it had a smaller barrel in here to fit the BB. Well, you would load five of them in here. When you would cock it, it would put a BB into the end of it, build up some air pressure, pull the trigger, and shoot the BB out. Well, I wanted to shoot 22. And they are a rim fire cartridge. If you hit these in the center of the cartridge, they will not go off. So the firing pin has to hit on the side, on the rim of the cartridge. And also, you needed a bigger barrel. Well, this barrel, it actually pulls out easily now. Oh, it is. This is a piece of plumbing pipe. one eight inch plumbing pipe. And when you go to the store, try take a 22 shell with you. Try it, because some of them, I don't know if there's flaws in the manufacturing process or what. Some of them, the shell will not fit in some of them that will fit very loosely. You need a good fit. One eighth inch is perfect size for a 22 long rifle bullet. Now, what I did to keep it from sliding forward every time that the firing pin would hit it is cut the pipe off, took a washer that was the size could go over the the outer diameter of the pipe. See it slid over it like that. I had to file down the sides so it would fit inside when you closed it. And I took a hammer and just hit it with a hammer and kind of expanded the end of it so that the washer will not slide off the end of it anymore like that. And it makes it to where it's easily easy to assemble too. I also had to drill out the original plastic that was in here because this plastic was made for a smaller pipe. Okay. It just inserts in there. Actually you can also put a 22 shell up on top too. You can have two shots with you. When you make your first shot all you gotta do is switch and put it into the other one. So, you also, there is a rod going across there. Well, I'll show you how to take it apart to get to all that. Okay, I also removed another spring out of this too. First thing to take this apart, there's a small clip inside here that holds this rod on there. Now, i just take a screwdriver pop the little clip up. Here's a little clip that detaches this from this inner piece. Spread this part out carefully. You want to be careful when you're taking this part because if you break something it's gone. Uh, and it, of course being a BB gun it's not the most expensive parts so if you it would be easy to break these little plastic parts. Okay, so this is the part that actually cocks it. And if you, if you notice when you take yours apart, if you do this, there is a, a spring in there that would push all this out. Well, I've removed that spring because it has no use for what we're doing here. It's used in pressurizing the little air tank. Okay, the hand grip has got to be removed like that. Pry up on it here, it pops right out. And there are three screws that hold this together. And after you get the screws out, very carefully take it apart and 
you might want to hold down on this because there is a strong spring in here that can fly out and if it flies out everything kind of flies apart and it won't be as obvious to put it all back together you need to take it apart carefully so all the parts stay in place in case yours is different than this look at it carefully when you get it apart to make sure you remember how everything went together I removed the bigger spring because it I didn't need it here okay this is what makes the BB gun work this part is actually a plunger that goes into this little canister which is an air tank and when you pull it back and cock it this is your sear this is what catches this ridge and holds it back while this is pressed in holding tension on the spring when you pull the trigger the sear comes down releases this and pressurizes like that and blows air out of a tube on the end I've actually filed the tube off, cut it off, and filed everything down smooth. I put a bolt into the end of it, and if you notice, I ground the end of it down at an angle to put it over to the side so that it will hit the side of the cartridge to fire it. Now, everything else stays the same. There's no other modifications that you have to do. See, this way you keep your safety and everything. When you put it back together, I made sure that the bolt itself is facing down. So when you look at it, you can tell that when it goes forward, it will hit on the side of the cartridge. Just like that. Yeah, well, I went to trigger. <laughs> see all these little pieces you just have to look at them and make sure that you take note of where every piece is in your particular gun because yours may be different <coughs> this is more just for educational purposes I'm not sure how legal a gun like this would really be but just for educational purposes I'm showing you how to do it I also had to grind down this stud for the screw that holds it together because this pipe was smaller with the BBs and it would not close all the way. I had to file that down until this would close down all the way. Once I got it to close at the right level I stopped and that's actually what supports the barrel while it's closed. It takes some tinkering around with it and playing with it to finally get everything working right. Once you do go it, it actually it'll shoot every time. Uh, if you've got good shells it'll shoot every time. But the thing is there is no rifling in the, inside this barrel. It does not spin the bullet. In order for a firearm to be accurate it has to spin the bullet uh, to keep it flying straight this one it probably goes end over end or whatever because you can shoot this gun at the same target over and over and you know from about I don't know a hundred feet you've got a pattern about the size of a dinner plate you know and that's not good that is actually holding the gun in exactly the same position all the time but that is pretty much it now just reassembly just the reverse, of course. Just put all your screws back in.
grip. Slip it back on. Your slide just snaps on to the end. Just go in a little piece. It'll snap on. Slide it up and <coughs> you get this pin. Insert it in, and you can put this little clip on it. And that is it. It's caught. Now I won't dry fire it because if it being a 22, it hits the side of the barrel, and it will actually end up making a dent in it. Now, when you want to load it, I didn't get that one tightened up real good. Anyway, when you want to load it. Uh, you've got to have the side pulled back like that. You can load it with it pushed up and cocked like that. Uh, I think it's safer to do it without having it cocked. If you put your shell in and it goes down in, it clicks. Uh, you're using the same hardware that the gun originally had. And you don't want to fire it. Hold the trigger in, push the slide forward until it clicks, and there you've got it. And that is my tutorial on how to do this. And I, I'm not recommending that you do it because I don't know about the laws in your area. Uh, it probably is illegal. So, I mean, that's why I am actually going to convert this back to a BB gun couple of reasons it is useless as a firearm because you can't hit the same place twice you can nickname it lightning because you'll never strike the same place twice and also if it's illegal I don't want it so that pretty much sums it all up if you try this be careful thank you for watching